everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be something a little bit different i'm going to kind of delve into another area of my life which is my family life and i want to share with you guys uh a few of the essentials that helped me get through my son's first year of life these are items that i would consider to be um holy grails i guess or must-haves uh most of them are not frivolous items they're just actual things that helped me with the baby so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into these products and i want to start with bath time which is something that's very important and the baby's you know taking care of the baby and skin his skin and cleanliness and stuff and we're gonna start with the basics which is diapers and wipes I don't have the diapers with me but I do have uh, the wipes that I use and both items are from the oops I'm sorry about that I use the diapers and the wipes are the same brand and I use the Pampers brand with my girls I used uh, Huggies with them and I noticed I tried to use Huggies with my son not too long ago and I noticed it did not work for him at all he would wake up every single day wet like he would pee right through the diaper and he would just be wet he would wake up in the middle of the night crying because he was wet and it just did not work out at all so I've stuck to Pampers actually any of the line you know how they have like this the there's like snug and dry crawlers snuggle whatever you know all those different things I use whatever is on sale um, at the time that I go buy them I buy the jumbo pack wherever I can find it and they have worked wonderfully for him for him and I actually like this the, the pack of wipes that come in like the jumbo pack whatever the jumbo pack is I don't I'm not sure how many of these packages it brings but they all are individual like this they come with their own snap and I love it because it's convenient you run out of one you throw it away and you grab the next one you don't have to worry about having bought a box and and anything like that and I just take one of these a whole one of these throw it in my baby bag and I'm out the door with all his other essentials and we're good the next item that has to do with cleanliness cleaning bath time all of that would be soap and I have two that I want to share for different reasons um, the first one that I use on a daily basis is the Do baby dove It's called tip to toe wash this is a very rich and moisturizing soap the first reason I bought it, and I'm not going to lie, that what drew me in was because it had a pump. I have different other soaps, but they don't have pumps, and I don't like them because with him in the bath, he's a handful. I have to be focused on holding him because he's all over the place. So for me to be trying to hold him and like pour out, it's a lot. And sometimes then you end up pouring out too much. I like this because I can just pump however much I need, get him bathed, and we're done. Also, um, the scent is... Let's see. It has a soapy scent. It's not. It's not a like a scent that you, it smells like this. It's just clean, and I like that because I do use lotion that has a scent, and I use baby cologne, so I don't like to have too many scents for him because sometimes, you know, I can I notice that he'll start sneezing, so I do like that because of this. Again, it leaves his skin very soft and feeling clean, and I love it. It's been working perfectly. No reactions or anything like that. The other one that I want to mention is the Johnson's Baby Soothing Vapor Bath. And I saw this, I had seen, I've seen this before at the store, but I never used it. And I didn't get convinced to use it until I saw uh, KK and Baby J using it on one of their babies when they were, well, both of their sons when they were sick. And uh, my son has about had about three colds since he's been little. And every time I've used this and I have noticed that it does help to soothe him. And it has that vapory smell. It's very good, but it's not overpowering, which is a good thing. Uh, so I do like this because of that. And I'm not gonna lie every time he's gotten sick I've caught in it too so cotton is that even a word no I have not caught in it I have caught it also and I am not gonna lie this has helped me also when I'm taking him bath I'm like just taking it in and it helps to kind of decongest it's not as strong as like the vapor rub but it gets the job done on a baby level so I really do enjoy this and I only use it when he's sick but you know I'm up to here so he's you know I've used it quite a few times while he's been sick Another item that I do have that is along the lines of cleaning is this by the brand Mustela and it's called the Physio Bebe and it's a no rinse cleansing water and I usually have this in my baby bag and I use this for on the go when I have to cleanse him and you know a wipe is not really what I want to use like for, this is for the face and for the bottom area it's a, like a soapy water but it's not like soap soap so I use this with like a little I have like little um, cloths like paper towel not quite but they're like cloth towels and I keep those and they're disposable I keep them in the baby bag I put some on there and just wipe them down wherever he needs to be wiped down and I like it it doesn't have a scent or anything uh, and it's very delicate on his skin so I found this to be very convenient the next uh, two items that I would or 
there's three more items in this category that I want to share. The first one is a uh, lotion and it's by Shea Moisture. It's called, and this is a long name, so brace yourself. Manuka Honey and Province Lavender Baby Nighttime Soothing Lotion with Shea Butter and Ylang Ylang. I think that's how you say it. Ylang, Y-L-A-N-G, Ylang Ylang. So I like this lotion because it's thick and it's creamy and it moisturizes. And I've been using this. I've had the same bottle since he was a newborn. I bought this before he was born and I still have it because it's so thick that you need the teensiest amount like I don't know if you could see like I'm I'm flipping it upside down it's not even coming down like I have to like jip, like not even doing that it's like coming down I have to like hit the bottle and that's why it's like all bent because I can like hit it for it to come down and squeeze it and it comes out and it reminds me of marshmallow fluff but it's so good when he was a newborn I used to use it like when you know when your skin is flaky I used to put it on and he would calm that and make it look better at least so moving right along, I have his colognes, and I have two of them here. The first one that I wanted to talk about is the, it's called Para Mi Bebe, uh, and it's uh, f this is the scent Fresh Lime, and I love this because I fell in love with this the first time before he was born. Ugh. When I was like about three months pregnant, I was at the store, and I was going crazy looking at stuff, and I saw this, and I picked it up, and I smelled it, and I, I knew that I was having a boy at this time, so maybe I was further along, probably like four or five months, and I smelled it, and I was like, this is the cologne my son is going to wear. It smells like a little man. Like, it smells like a little cute grown man but baby in a baby form it's wonderful and it's funny because when i was little i used to use para mi bebe colognes my, my mom used to buy the violetas one the violet ones and it's funny that you, they're still around and i always thought of this as a bootleg like hispanic brand and now it's everywhere i see it at target Publix, everywhere uh the next one is also uh cologne baby magic and this is just the the originals when i think they have a I don't even know if they have the pink, you know, the, the soap comes in yellow and pink. I don't know if they have the pink one. I never saw it, but I bought this at Publix. I just saw it and I was like, oh, because I, I love the way the soap smells, but I'm not a big fan of the actual soap because I feel like it's a little drying. But I got this, just put it on him when he wants to freshen him up. Um, another thing that I want to share with you, which has been a lifesaver from the beginning, are these things. And these are like little poop bags. You know, like when you walk your dog and you take the bags with you, that's exactly what this is. You are in the street, the baby takes a poop, you rip off a bag, stick it in there, and you don't have that smell spreading all over the place and if you're not in a place where there's like a public like a trash can that you can throw it like it's not indoors you could just wrap it up throw it in your trunk and it'll prevent your trunk from smelling like dust and I do take my son to work with me I have a part-time job I work three days a week for a couple of hours at an office and I have those there so when if he does go while I'm at work I can change and put in there and I don't kill everybody that works with me and I don't get fired for HR problems with the stink. Anyhow, moving right along, I want to move on to another little uh, um, item that I have that is this little thing right here. And this is not a must have, but I'll let you know why I have this on my list. This is Scout, and this is by the brand Leapfrog. This is something that I get guess intended for an older child but I bought this for my son when he was about three or four months because we were at the store and he saw it and I just gave it to him um to to like entertain him while I was shopping and I made it play music and stuff and it calmed him down like he was so rowdy and it calmed him down and he was entertained so with this you can program it to say your child's name and I did and so it, it says Emmanuel and he has this little button here on this paw that sang that sings songs that incorporates his name then there's like little here he plays like patty cake and I think peekaboo or something but also incorporates the name and then this button here it's uh, bedtime music so it plays either 5 10 or 15 minutes of bedtime music and this is the function that I that like really sold me on it whenever I was at work wherever I am well I don't use it anymore that much because the batteries are dead and I haven't replaced them but whenever I was at work I would put this in his little stroller with him and like turn on the bedtime music when it's time to go to sleep and it would soothe him and help him fall asleep and even in his crib anywhere and he really liked to play with it and he liked the songs and you know he snuggled with it in his car seat so I I feel like this really was a good item to have and maybe uh, not specifically this I like this because it can grow with him but uh, anything maybe like a music maker or something like that because I have one like a music box kind of in his room a, a sound machine and that really works too so something that keeps the baby creates an environment of stillness and peace a-okay with in my book and I, I I personally think it's something worth having the next item um, is his sleepers and I tried a different, few different sleepers but I have one specifically that is my favorite and this is uh, I purchased it at 
Target. It's by the brand Cat and Jack. And this one is very like ratchet looking because it's been washed so many times. It doesn't even fit them anymore. I saved it from the trash because I remembered I wanted to film this video because um, and I wanted to show this. The reason that it's my favorite is because of this way this zip zips up. It doesn't zip from top to bottom like it doesn't zip up like that or you know what I mean. The zipper is, I can't find it, on the leg. Where the heck is the zipper on this thing? I need a degree to figure this out. It zippers on the leg, so it zips, like the zipper starts down here and it zips like that. So the reason I like it, oh it smells like him, it's so delicious. The reason I like it is because nighttime changes, you just zip it up, take his little legs out, change his diaper and then zip it back. And sometimes I was able to actually manage to change his diaper and not startle, like wake, rile him up too much and wake him up and he would go soundly asleep because of this. I love it and I really highly recommend those ones with the zipper starting from the bottom going to the top. Uh, the type of blankets that I use are the Aiden and Anai uh, muslin blankets. These are my favorite because of the temperature control. To me, it's like, it's perfect on a warm day, it's perfect on a cool day. Not like a super duper cold day, but like on a nice cool day or like if you have a house where you like to put your AC, you know, pretty cold, this is perfect. Uh, it keeps the baby nice and this is good to swaddle because they're, they're, they're huge. They're really big. My daughters love to try to take these to like just snuggle up on, on the sofa and stuff. And another big thing that I love about them is that the fact that they come in so many fun prints and colors it's wonderful uh, and it's I, I really highly recommend these are a little bit on the pricey side but honestly I think they're really worth it because I've had this since he was born and I think it's an actually really good condition and this gets washed on, its, on a weekly basis so I would really recommend those so the next item I want to share with you is pacifier and the pacifier that my son used, he only used one kind from the beginning and it was uh, the Tommy Tippy brands. The only thing that changed is uh, I guess the size, as the baby gets older you buy a bigger one but they, I don't have any packaged ones, I threw them all, I threw them all away basically because he stopped using pacifiers when he was about six months uh, and he's not wanted one ever since but they're like ones like this, they have a little, I just usually buy the ones with the little designs or just clear ones and they're uh, um, they're just, I guess, your standard, standard, um, passy. Uh, he didn't like any of the other ones. I tried the soothies, which was the ones that were my, my girls were obsessed with and the ones that they give you in the hospital, and he did not like them. I tried the Wubba Nub. I p bought a freaking $13 Wubba Nub, and it was, like, garbage. He was like, what the hell is this? He plays with it now with just a little animal and just doesn't even pay attention to the passy part. So, he's not a, I'm not complaining about it. I'm happy he's, like, over the passy, but... For the time that he used it, that was the one that he used. Uh, the next one, the next thing I want to share is the bottle that he used, and it's just again with this, it's just been one brand since the beginning, and it was a, it's also Tommy Tippy. It's the bottles. Uh, I don't, I think they're called Closer to Nature, and this is what they look like. They're just, I like these because there's not a million pieces. It's just the bottle, the ring, and the and the nipple with the cap. Easy to wash. I. I used to use Avent ones, but the ones that had like the ring inside, the one outside, and it's like so many pieces. I tried the Dr. Browns, but then you have the, the, and I tried the options one that doesn't, that says you don't need the little stick. That's a bunch of baloney because I try to use it with the little, without the little vent straw thingy and it just leaked everywhere. These, I've never had a problem with leaking this. The next thing that I do like, I'm just going to throw this in here, is this, uh, are one, these onesies and, um, he lives in onesies. The brand that I usually use, or the, I use the most, is the Carters. I usually buy the five pack when they're on sale at Babies R Us. This is usually $26, and most of the time, sometimes they have buy one, get one free, or they have 50% off of the pack. So I'll go and buy a pack or two, and he has a bunch of them in different um, different designs and stuff. I just buy them like all different colors and designs, because I, like I said, he wears them every single day. The next thing I want to share is my baby bag, and I gotta think I'm gonna have to move bags for this. This is my Skip hop this is called the sweet baby bag and I am actually I'm not gonna lie I'm at a point right now where I'm ready to transition out of this because I think I, I have like I need a different type of baby bag um, for what he needs now but I really did enjoy this when he was uh, you know up until mm -hmm. recently and I'm still gonna use this one but more for everyday use I, there's another one that I have in mind I like this one because it has tons of storage I love bags purses for me, for baby, whatever, that have lots of pockets. And this one has one pocket up here, which is really deep and big. And it has another one up here, right here, which I usually use one of these two as my mommy pockets for my phone, my keys, my wallet, and whatever. It has a pocket here on the side for a insulated pocket for a bottle. It has another, like a little 
side pocket here um, that's a little bit insulated but it is open and it comes with this to hold bottles it's a little bit I didn't use it much because for like the bottles that I used they were a little bit um, it was a little bit hard to put get it in and out but with the Avent ones that are skinnier I just dropped it it was easier and I like that because it really does keep the I, I used to warm up the water for the formula and it really did keep it warm so it also comes with a removable uh, passy pouch I love it uh, it has the stroller straps then it has the main compartment which I one thing I didn't like is that the fact that this zipper doesn't open all the way to the bottom it just opens like about three quarters of the way and then so you get inside and you have more pockets there's another pocket here there's two little compartments here um, it has another one another uh, spot in the back to hold the changing pad that it comes with and then it also comes with this little oops, this little pouch thing that which I love because you can just throw like essentials in there and I always just kept like a washcloth in there with boogie wipes little um, lotions and baby soaps butt cream things like that uh, and that's it and then my hand sanitizer and some baby powder so I like this because no matter what baby bag I have I just you know put the essentials in there and just move it around and it's perfect so yeah that's what that is like moving right along to the last uh, two I think these are the last two items that I have and these are the things that he's using more now that he's bigger and one of them is this um, these these um, food pouches and this one just happens to be a Gerber one but I use uh, the Gerber the Sprout the um, any any brand I use that honestly I buy whichever brand is on sale but they're the little uh, squeezy food pouches I buy the apple sauces ones that are like this too uh, and I love them because they're so convenient I drop a couple in my bag and when he's hungry in the store I just open it up give it to him and he drinks it and it, it entertains him and it holds him for a little bit until I can get you know to the car and feed him or whatever I need to do another thing that I love is this uh, his sippy cup that he's using this is by the brand munchkin and this is the weighted straw um, I'm sorry sippy cups and the reason I like this this is the bigger size I do have a smaller one that has handles uh, the reason I love it it has a little little lid here that you open up the straw pops out the straw is easy to use I found that with a lot of baby sippy straw uh, sippy cups that have straws they're so difficult to, to like suck and for the baby to get the water I don't know why they make it so difficult but this one's really easy he just it comes right up and at the bottom I don't know if you can see very good there's like a little blue thing the straw has a weight on the bottom so that no matter how the baby hold what angle the baby's holding Holding the sippy cup in the you know it falls into the liquid and he can and you know the baby will always be drinking uh, he's not gonna suck out air the next few items that I want to talk about are items that I don't have physically anymore that because I've given them away um, due to the fact that he's just outgrown them and I do have a friend and I know a couple people who have babies or are going to have babies and I've been able to give those things to them so the first one is 100% this should be should have been number one on my list and it's the Fisher Price rock and play I had this with my daughter and it was a lifesaver and I had the one that you had to manually rock and so for my son I was like no we're getting the one that you plug in and it out in it and it automatically rocks it and I love it because it soothes the baby so much it's like a little chair it has a little incline and it's perfect for when the babies are not feeling well and they have stuffy noses because they can sleep but they're like I yeah they can sleep I'm so dramatic because they can go to sleep um, but they're sitting up so that they don't feel like they're suffocating it's uh, it rocks like I said it has two speeds of rocking it vibrates it has um, nature sounds and it has music and it, there's even an app where you can control it from your phone so that you know if the baby's in the room sleeping you don't have to walk in there and disturb the baby you can control it from your phone the next thing that I use that I, I think is a must-have um, is a sterilizer and the one that I use is Av the one by Avent and it's like a three-tiered one and I think the upgraded one they have like a new model and it's like four tiered ones I love it because you can use it to just sterilize like you can customize what the, the, the height of it um, depending on how many bottles or what it, what you're gonna sterilize and it's compact and it fits really nice and it's sleek looking and it's good it's not anything too bulky there's another steriliz sterilization tool that I think is perf wonderful I'm um, oh we have a sneaker back here look at this <laughs> I told you not to come in here what do you need what do you need no 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 go over there I'm almost done okay please thank you what was I saying? Uh, sterilization. So there's a um, the company, the brand Medela, which is more uh, more better known or more better 
uh, what's wrong with my English today, which is more known or better known for breastfeeding tools and supplies and accessories. They have some little bags that they sell that are for sterilizing bottles that you, what you do is you pour in a little bit of water and you put it in the microwave with the bottles in it. You, it's like a little Ziploc bag and you put it in the microwave for I don't know how long and it sterilizes the bottle for you. You can use each bag up to 30 times and this is wonderful for when you're traveling. Other than that, there are of course a million other things that you need for babies but those are the things that I feel like that without these things, you know, it life may have been a little bit more difficult. So I really definitely recommend those items. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything else, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from all of you guys watching or anybody watching. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to uh, click on the little bell notification so you know when my next video comes up. Bye guys, thank you. Thank you.